Hello there, one and all, and welcome to Applaud the Mod, the series that takes a look at a variety of different modifications for the PC gaming platform. My name is Connor, and today we are looking at yet another Star Wars modification by the name of Evolution of Combat 4 for Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. And this has been a long time in the coming. I've tried to do this a few times, but uh, unsuccessfully because of, you know, just problems with crashing and stuff because of my operating system is not a problem with the mod really but I just got a tip from the modder Mott so thank you very much for this tip and how to get the screen to 1920 by 1080 so I can bring it to you in 60 FPS on 1080p oh yes so what does this mod give us well <laughs> it gives us quite a lot actually so we have the Serenity Jedi engine which I believe overhauls the game in many ways and making it more accurate to the movie, so characters within the game that you are like to play as will be using abilities they actually have in the canon. I'm not really sure if a lot of them are canon anymore, but you know what? They're still canon to me. I don't really care what Disney says. Why would I care what Disney says? They created High School Musical, for fuck's sake. I don't care what they say. Also, updated animations for the enemy. Updated on superior AI for the enemy in single player. And an updated Serenity Saber system allowing you to be pretty damn badass with a lightsaber in blocking and attacks. Now it's been quite a while since I played this so I can't really remember the controls. And well I could show you Evolution of Combat but I'm not really sh I've tried a few times to get this up and running. It's kind of just like a skirmish mode where you can jump in and fight AI. But they've also updated the Jedi at cost 2 where you play as Kyle Katarn. And I can actually show you that. Now some of the movies intros are quite low res because the game does not actually support 1920 by 1080 by default. The mod doesn't either. It's going to be included in a future update. So that's the only thing I've really been able to get working. So actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the settings first. Uh, I would like to look at the controls if possible. Hmm. I believe the enemy AI also have new voices, so let's actually just start it up and see what's going on. Well, we'll do Jedi, yeah, we're Jedi, aren't we? Dirty Jedi Republic scum. And there he is himself, Kyle Katarn. One of the most awesome characters in the Star Wars canon. And I don't think he's canon anymore. Well, he might be with the new, um, what is it, the new series coming out, Star Wars Rogue. Just skip this here. As you can see, those horror words were quite low res. Things are still going to change. For final approach. Whatever's causing those transmissions, it's not showing up on any of the sensors. This Imperial outpost looks as abandoned as reported. This is dead as the rest of Ketchum. Mon Mothma must be getting paranoid. Mon Mothma. She never used to send pros like us out on blue milk runs like this. Mm. Not a fan of Mon Mothma, I have to be honest. Mon Mothma. Kyle was just talking about you. She's a bit of a dick. No doubt. I bring troubling information about your mission on Ketchum. Say troubling. We've managed to decode a small fraction of the transmission we intercepted earlier. And, well, listen for yourselves. I'm on fire. Into shadow. We may have to use the value of the Jedi to be born warrior. The valley of the Jedi? Transmission was intended for Galak Fire, the suspected leader of the remnant forces in that sector. It's probably nothing more than a couple of soldiers telling tales around the glow lamp. But as you are the only survivors of the Valley of the Jedi incident, I thought it only fair to warn you that this mission may be more dangerous than we originally anticipated. Your objectives, however, remain the same. Find out what you can, clear out any remnant forces you encounter, and may the Force be with you. So much for the blue milk run. So here we are. I think I saw someone. The AI has been overhauled and as I said before things have changed. Now I played this last a good while ago, so I'm just gonna to switch to third person now. And well, you'll see what there is in a moment. There's something I did not expect to see, so it's obviously part of the modification. But you know what? I forget how to play the game. Let's just sneak on over here. Let's hope he doesn't hear the hum of our lightsaber. 
I've got two stormtroopers. Let's just see if we can take this guy out. Take him out. Oh, shit. Awesome. Also, the armor for the stormtroopers looks like it's updated as well. That's pretty cool. What was that? Nothing. Oh, crap, we got... What was, what was that guy? A Dark Jedi? Oh, shit. That's one less oh, thank you for killing him, John. That was that was pretty cool. Ah! Oh, shit, shit. Get back, get back. Damn it, I got my head blasted. No checkpoint there. Let's hope we don't have to go through the cinematics again. No! Oh, you know what? I'll cut. Uh-huh. So here we are again. Now, I only have my lightsaber available, but I believe I can use force powers with F. No? Well, let's see if we can sneak up here on these guys. So as you've noticed already, the difficulty is way harder. The enemy AI is a lot better. Let's see if we can through this door. There's a B1 battle droid there. That's what I wanted to point out to you before. Now, we can get up here and get a back to tank. Is that a back to tank? It is. Oh, here we go. That's our... Secret area. Right, we got a secret. But there's a B1 battle droid. Let's kill the annoying little shit. But right, we got force push now, haven't we? Right. B1, that's, that's shouldn't be too much trouble. And then I die horribly. No, I don't want to shoot him. I want to kill him. Oh shit, run away, run away. This ain't good. Let John kill him. She seems to be a pro. If we get killed by a B1, I am just rage quitting right now. See, that, that guy just tried to fly kick John, did he? Oh, Jesus. Really? So the game's a lot more difficult. Well, the modification anyway. <laughs> that was unexpected. I really don't like the idea of just seeing this cutscene over and over again. There's nowhere to skip it. I mean, I'm pressing everything I can, nothing's skipping it. So that's quite annoying. But the, I believe the modification is primarily for online multiplayer. Because there are so many different characters you can play as from uh, the expanded universe and stuff. Like, um, I've seen a Wookiee running around punching people in the face and killing them in one hit. I've seen... Um, custom Jedi and stuff, and I've seen, was it Raven? I think I saw Raven. It was some dark Jedi anyway. And Raven is not really a Sith. He's not really a Jedi either. He used to be a Jedi, but he's kind of, he uses the balance of the Force. He is in between. Dark Jedi, maybe. Light Sith. Who knows? That's why he's my favorite character in the entire canon and lore of Star Wars. And he was really well written, really well written, even. And, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, but this is nothing to do with the modification. But yeah, you can play as a lot of different characters and races and stuff, which is interesting and very, very fun. But I couldn't get it working to save my life, especially in a decent res uh, resolution that fitted my monitor. Come on, my month, I really do hate you talking all the time. All you do is talk and send people on suicide missions. I really don't like you. So we could kill by a stormtrooper, an incredibly accurate stormtrooper, I have to say, and a B1 battle droid, which is kind of worse than a stormtrooper. Yep. Did you know that George Lucas wanted to have a type of stormtrooper, you know, type character or unit in the prequels, so he created a B1 battle droid? Not sure you hit the mark there, George. Let's run on over here, force jump. Get that sh Oh, we can't even get it, we have full health. We have a blaster. We have a DL44. Oh, uh, no ammo. Hmm. Alright. Let's just take these guys down real quickly. Get him, get him, get him quickly, get him. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't like this first person shit. Oh dear, why does it keep going to first person? Come on, John. Kill him. You're an NPC. You're invincible, right? Come 
Can I kill this dude? Gotcha. There we go. Now, I was able to use force powers there. Ah, there we go. That's it there. Right. Been a while. Now, that Dark Jedi was around here somewhere, wasn't he? Can we get on top of the shuttle? The Lambda. So, I don't care. Oh! Dark Jedi! Get back! Get back, you fool! I want nothing to do with you! I want nothing to do with you! <laughs> oh. You know what? Actually, let's try the uh, abandoned game. Yes, let's try the custom game mode. Evolution of Combat. There we go. Uh, I don't want to play as Kyle. I really like you, Kyle. I just don't really want to play as you. Alright, dual sabers. Or 200 saber. It's a dual saber, isn't it? Let's go with two sabers and we'll have them both red because, or actually one red and one purple, but like the Isle Raven. Uh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Galaxy map. Where do you want to play it? Let's try. Hmm, Coruscant walkway, really? We could try that, I suppose. Awesome. Alright. If I press escape, I can spawn NPCs, I think. Uh, and... Oh shit, oh, we got we got Darth Vader, that's not good. We got a Vader, we got a Vader. Oh, dears. Vader, where are you, my friend? Well, my enemy. Where is he? Ready for this? Let's go, Vader! Where'd he go? Oh! Come on, I'll show you the f true power of the middle side. Come on, we can kill Vader. That'll be us done. <laughs> 42 health. Oh, he's, he's, he, he, broke us, he, broke, he broke our neck. He broke our neck, really. And he threw us across the floor. Right, let's try it again. Only, you know what? Let's spawn somebody easier. Can I have a Jedi companion? Yeah, let's have another Jedi companion. Alright, we've got a Rodian and a Twi'lek. Let's spawn a Sith Challenger. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming I just suck at the game. Right, I'm just pressing the button to see what I can do here. Right, I can crouch, I can kneel. Been playing too much chivalry, so I have. Right, uh, there we go. Let's spawn another NPC. Oh! What is going on here? Why am I getting racked? That Twi'lek is racking. Look at her! Whoa! Whoa! Not good. Oh, wow. Well, this is a lot of fun, actually. Oh, the Rodian got cut in half. Don't worry, I've all survived at G-Con. That begs a question, though. How does Darth Maul poop and pee if he has no lower half? When he eats, does it just, like, pour out of the bottom, seamlessly? This is so refreshing after playing Star Wars Battlefront EA. Yeah. I can walk like a badass. Put my lightsabers away. Let's spawn another couple of Sith. Uh... <laughs> uh, what? Exactly what? Is that gay? Oh! Not good. Is she my enemy? Oh, I, I chose the dark side, didn't I? Right, let's see if we can handle the Twi'lek who kicked everybody's ass. Oh, we got a dark side. Oh, we got a Sith ghost. Or not a Sith ghost. A Jedi ghost. Oh, we killed her! What did we do? We cut her arm off. She got Anakin Skywalkered. Thank you, Force Ghost. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, is he attacking us now? Oh, the saber combat's so enjoyable. How do you get killed by a Force Ghost? Right. Let's try that again. 
See, all you really do is jump between maps and stuff, but it is enjoyable. I mean, imagine having a load of friends playing this with you. We each play as the Jedi or the Sith you wanted to play as. And you know what? I think I can change my character. So here we are in Kashyyyk. What's going on? If we get out of this alive, remind me never to do that again. Oh, I can choose the level, I see. He's probably heading for the heart of the academy. You coming? I think I'd be more useful. So you can actually choose what level you want to play as well, which is interesting. But I want to show you the different characters you can play as if I can get to it. I mean I've tried navigating it for the past hour and I just I'm still getting used to it. Ooh. 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 Kissy kissy. Smooch smooch. That face. That face is only a face Kyle Katarin can love. Alright, where are we? Not too fond of the first person. Oh, we got a Wookiee. That ain't good. Taste. Cold lightsaber. Wookiee scumbag. Ah! Oh dear. He is not having any of my nonsense. Did they just jump off his head? Whoop. Killed him. Not a swamp trooper, it's a friggin' Wookiee. Alright, so it changes things. Let's actually... Uh, yeah, so these are all the levels that are available. And then I want to go back to... I want to go back and see if I can play as another Sith. So Evolution of Combat. Class. Here we go. Choose who I want to play as. Darth Maul's pretty awesome, isn't he? Alright, so Jedi Masters, Bounty Hunters, and you can't play as people who don't use lightsabers, of course. Alright, there's Bosk and there's Greedo. There's Singh. Uh, who's that guy again? Forlom. There's Zam Wessel. Useless. And indeed. Django, and of course, Boba. Rebel Forces. Well, you have the Rebel Forces here. You can play as a freaking Ewok if you want to, or a freaking Gungan. Why would you even want to play as a Jar Jar? And um, there's Padme Amidala. No idea where you would want to play as her. Oh my god, we got imps. We got Grievous. Let's say. Uh, let's say uh, play as Grievous. What do you say? Let's just explore what else they have available. All the awesome clone troopers and stuff. Awesome. We have a Jordica. I've seen people play as Jordicas, they just look incredibly overpowered. But what we'll play as is Grievous. Right. Set up. No, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I go back? Oh, Jesus. Right. Uh You're a worthy adversary. You're a worthy adversary. I'm sure I am. Right, so with Grievous, we want two lightsabers. We want a blue and a green just to show that he's been taking them from Jedi. Actually, let's give him maces, right? Uh, health. Let's change the health up. There we go. Awesome. Galaxy map. Where do we want to go? Can we go to Geonosis? The arena? Uh. Ooh, I like that one. Let's go to the training pit. Playing as Grievous, kids. Look at that, we're Grievous. Oh my God, we got Tavian. Come and die. I'm gonna see if I can punch her to death with Grievous. Uh, get Grievous. <laughs> right, uh, maybe we'll use our lightsabers. I forgot I'm not really a force user. Grievous time. Oh, she's force pushing me. Grievous is. One weakness, the force. But, you just got Grievous. Can I take our lightsaber? Where'd the lightsaber go? Ah, uh, I wanted to add it to my collection. Is that it? Let's spawn a Sith Lord. Oh, we got a Dark Jedi. Oh, he's got a double blade lightsaber on the single blade. Oh, that's awesome. Think you can stand against General Grievous? Cough, cough, cough. This is a very enjoyable modification, I have to say. It really, really is. It adds so much to the base game. And it's quite it's quite inexpensive on Steam at the moment. So you can go and check it out yourselves. 
But you know what? I'm going to beat her. And let's see if we can... See if we can add some Jedi here. Oh, we got wrecked by Darth Vader. Also, the models are very good for Darth Vader. They're very good for the custom characters that have been added to the game. So, we got Grievous. Let's see what we can do here. Now, I'm not really fond of the first person. Time to watch you do my collection! Awesome. Now, before I end the video, we have to beat a Sith Lord. We have to beat... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to join the dark side. And... See if I can spawn Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay. Unlimited power, Sidious, but where is it? Where's Kenobi? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, we got the Rodian again. He'll not be hard to kill. Against Grievous. You stand no chance. Another one. Bring it on. Jedi scum. Your force will not save you this time. Oh, maybe it will. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is Star Wars Evolution of Combat for Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. You can get the game on Steam and you can download the modification from the link below on the Mod database site or Mod DB for short. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I also have a Patreon which you can find in the description below if you want to help out the channel. I'll see you next time, guys. All the best and bye bye. Good day, loyal citizens of the Empire. Today, the Emperor has employed a system that will allow you to support the latest Imperial endeavors. Click the link below to support a safer and brighter future for every citizen of the Empire.